Hello, how are you all doing today? So, today's topic of video has been one that's been asked a lot of times, even before I was doing YouTube for months and months and months, and I've had to personally respond to everyone about it. And even in the YouTube, when I'm doing it now, in the comments, it's still mentioned, and I think it deserves its own dedicated video. It's to do with that thing, my disc cleaner. So, before I get into that, I thought I'd go through my story of all my disc cleaners, because I've gone through four, five EV class, because I've had the JFJ twice in my business. So, I thought I'd start with that. So, I'm over here now, because I thought it'd be better than holding my hands. So let's go into the first machine. The JFJ Easy Pro. Might be the two, I can't remember what the name is. I know there's been a revision since my, because I got two of them, and my first one was a revision one, and my second one was a revision two. And the difference was basically, I think it had a more reliable motor, because the motors tend to broken the first one, and it's got a metal backing. So if you're trying to get a JFJ Easy Pro, look for one that has a metal back plate. I'll show a picture of the metal back plate. Sorry. This light is annoying me with the lens flare going across, but I can't really do anything about it. Um, but the JFJ is great if you want to get into games, but you're unsure if it's what you want to do. These disc cleaners, apart from the JFJ, only get them if you're really serious about getting into games. The JFJ is a great entry level just to have in the sidelines. So, it costs... I, I know there used to be an importer that I got mine from called Ads, but that I don't think they in operation anymore because um, all the disc cleaners come from America um, and they're imported in and swapped over to UK power supplies. But now I think the manufacturer changes the power supply and the plugs and stuff and imports themselves. But I know with import fees and that it can be quite costly. So look for a used machine potentially that's going to be perfectly fine. Hopefully. Um, the JFJ is the only one that you can't send into a UK company to be repaired unless it's like a second hand shop or something. I don't know. I've never, I never touched it myself. But the price of it is a lot cheaper compared to other machines. Um, so let's go into the details about the JFJ. It gets, a, it gets the job done, it can fix discs that are not working but they can come out not looking the best. Um, also, it's very manual. You've got to put the compound actually onto the pads yourself to open the machine, screw the disc onto the machine, which can be quite tedious. And sometimes if you over tighten, it can sp splinter the center of the disc. I've done that a few, quite a few times. And the, the, the compounds, yes, you can buy stuff like car wax and stuff, and kind of get around with that, but you've got to buy the pads anyways. Can be quite expensive because there's three types of four types of pads even. There's the stand, two sanding ones and two buffing ones. And you've got to if you want to do the sanding, you've got to go to the heavy one, to the light one, to the first buffing, to the second buffing. Some people skip the first buffing. Um but which is very manual and takes quite a lot of time compared to the other machines. Um but like I said, if you wanted to start out and try it, it's a great thing to start. I, I would say to anyone, before they go into any of the other machines, get the JFJ, make sure gaming is for them, because the other ones are very expensive compared to it. Let's go into the next machine, the Eco Pro 2. All these machines now, from now on, I've solely, these are only the ones I've tried myself. I know there's some Venmil and stuff, but all mine are. Total Disc Repair, which is the importer of ELM machines from America. So, the Eco Pro 2, it costs, I'll, sh I'll show on the screen because it might have changed since I bought it, but I think mine costs about £900 all in from brand new. You can buy these reconditioned from J TDR, Total Disc Repair, um, but I, I think I bought this one new because I was quite new into it. Um, bought this about three maybe four years ago um, yeah it's a good machine for light buffing I found that out it really good gets this to work but doesn't remove all the heavy scratches unless you want to because this machine you have to pay these um, 
consumable packs which you've got the time card and you put the time card in for 500 minutes and once that's on you have to buy a new one from the manufacturer i know there's been some companies who tried to work around that um but i never tried that because i upgraded to the next machine afterwards before i even thought about doing that and what i what i did to get around it is at this point i'd already sold i think my first jfj broke i think because of the motor because like i said the first revision i think it was a bit dodgy um, but the second one, I bought the second one purely just for the sanding capabilities. The problem with that though was the JFJ left, left a nasty ring in the middle that the Eco Pro 2 couldn't fix and sometimes it would break all the discs because it couldn't remove the scratches right near the centre of the spindle. Um, but I, I had that for about a year or so, maybe, I think. And it ran me well, it was really good, but for £900, it's, I, for, for, for me, if you got the JFJ and you wanted to go into discs, I'd skip the Eco Pro 2, in my personal opinion, because I don't think it was worth it. Um, but yeah, next machine is over there. Let me go get it. This is, it's a, this is an Eco Clever. As you can see, the total dish repair. Um, this was a game changer for me. This is the one I would say, if you want to go to the next level, get this. But it is expensive for what it is. That, I'll show on the screen now how much it costs. I can't remember how much I bought, but I think it was a bit less. I think I bought it for just under £2,000 brand new. Now I think it's about... Two, I'll show it here, I'm going to show you this now. Um, you can buy and reconditioned again for a bit cheaper. This is the machine, if you watch Tom's Tat, Tom's Tat just bought one of them. And I think he's done the right choice of he's getting into games and he's serious about it and bought the right machine for the job. This machine, the same as the one I showed it. <coughs> The same as the one I showed you over there will bring out the exact same condition of discs. It's the same process except it's one by one and it'll make the discs look absolutely beautiful. Um, it's very, it, 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 once you put a disc in, you choose the level of disc repair you need to do, so one to five, and then you whack it in and it's a way to go. Um, it'll take, if you go, if you go, I don't normally use a five setting because you have to change the pad inside this one. I normally go for a four setting, and it'll probably take about five minutes per disc, which is a long time. But to get a disc looking as beautiful as that, it was amazing. Um, it requires a bit more maintenance than the machine over there because basically this has two um, water cycle, um, two different liquids. It uses. it uses water with an additive um, to cool down the machine and basically clean up the compound of the disc and a compound which is squirted onto the disc at the exact amount of proportions that is required for the disc so there's no wastage well there is wastage I'll get into that in a minute um, and cleans it beautifully but once it's done five gallon buckets um, one for the new stuff one for the old water with the compound mix and you have to just dump that out you can't redo that um, I always use the official um, compounds. I never tried any of the special compounds. This one you could, but my machine, there's no way you could use it because I wouldn't risk it. Um, and with the additive, all the water, all the compound replacement, plus all the pads, the, the, the consumables for this are expensive for what they are, but it works out a lot cheaper because have to buy each of the each of the pads which you're buying packs of 10 for the number one the buffing compound it costs 70 pounds for a pack of 10 and then the sanding discs which there's four different sanding discs cost 35 pounds per a pack of 10 which i find ridiculous for what they are but there's no other choice because there's exact dimensions and stuff you could with velcro on the back you could diy it but i don't want to risk it myself and it works out, well, my machine, it works out about 30, 40p per disc to clean. Um, so yeah, that's a great machine, but the disadvantage I felt with it, it was a full-time job cleaning it. I had my partner, um, when she was cleaning this, she doesn't do it now because of the new machine, 
She was sat by the testing station and be sat for hours on end, just testing game, clean, test game. But the thing is, you test games quicker than you can clean. Um, so you just sat waiting for that to go. And when you're doing the scale I was doing, it's not worth it. Um, so that's that machine. Now, let's get on to the big boy. So, this is the big boy. This is a TDR or ELM Eco Master. So, as I said before, Eco Master. Um, it's the same quality. It's the same. I can show you inside of this one. It's the same process. Dish comes into there, and it cleans. It starts on starts at five, four, three, two, one. And that's also for Blu-rays. Um, I've not gone to that, but I will. Um, so if you say a four, it'd go to that one, then that one, then that one, and then finish up on that one, all while pumping compound and water onto the disc. Um, like I said, it's the same. It's the same um, sanding pads, velcro on the back, and colour coded. But the big difference with this machine is this part. You can load up to fifty discs. And it'll have a mechanism which brings out a thing. Um, this lowers down, that vacuums the top disc, lets it on, grabs the disc, pulls it in there. When it's finished, this lowers down, drops it onto the spindle, and done. Um, and the other benefit is in here, when it's finished with the water, it drops it into here. This is a filter and it uses electric, um, I don't know how it fully works, but it uses some kind of electric to filter the compound. This is why I only use the official stuff, because I don't know if car wax or whatever would work the same. And it filters the water out, and water, clean water comes out there to be reused and pumped back up. And then obviously the compound you've got to refill, but it, is, it uses so much less using this system. And that, like, that type of bottle in the other machine would probably last me about a month, this one lasts forever. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've changed it. Um, but yeah, and they're all the, like that, it's a pack of 10 of them and it costs £70 just for that. Bit silly, but it's all well. Um, so I think I'm going to do a demo, uh, just to show you how good this machine is. So you see how bad that disc is. Not the worst disc in the world for me, but some people, like a JFJ, wouldn't be able to fix that. An Eco Pro wouldn't be able to fix that without looking nice. And just to prove it is this disc, I'm going to put a that there. Hopefully that stays there. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll see. But I assure you it's the same disc. And let's put that on here. Down there. Let's put it on a one disc, on a medium setting. And I'll let that go, and I will show you the results. As you can see, it's the done. Um, I knew it would do that to the disc, but oh well. And there you go. There are just some hairs at the bottom, but nice and perfect. Cleaning up. Bit of compound on the disc, but that's okay. So now that can go back into here to be listed. But yeah, as you've probably noticed, I haven't mentioned how much this has cost. Now, I got an absolute banger of a deal on this, um, which I was very lucky at the moment and I snapped it with both hands, but it did come with some unexpected downsides, but I, 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 I planned it in advance. So. Let me just go ahead. This machine, brand new, from the supplier, I didn't pay this, would cost, I think, £12,000. The, if I'm wrong, you can buy this obviously used and re re reconditioned. It would cost, I think, seven, eight pounds £8,000, whatever it is there. But I got this, I, I was looking on eBay one day, and I thought, oh, well, let's just check if there's any available. There was one available in Wales um, for three, I 
think it was £3,000, maybe a bit more, but I'll show you this purchase there. It is, a, well, it's the same machine, but there's a revised version that has blue panels on the side. I'm not sure what is different, but I'm assuming it's more reliable as issues. Um, as I found out, <laughs> when I bought this machine, it was working, but there was issues. The pickup for this was not working properly. I found it out. That little plastic nub there was like worn down to oat, um, and I've got to buy it from the manufacturer. Um, so that cost, I'll show here how much it cost me to buy that and replace that. And then, after maybe three, four months, the vacuum pump that picks this up here also broke. <laughs> um, so I had to replace that, um, which is down here somewhere. I can't remember. I, remember, I, I, I replaced it myself. That cost, I think, £80, £90. Pounds. I'll show you the price here. But that is all I've had to do. Cross my fingers. Touch wood. <laughs> um, but eventually, it will need a service. These machines are heavy duty, industrial, and they need a service every so often. As you can probably see, this one hasn't had a service in a while. There's rust everywhere, there's grime building up. Um, and if you can see here, I don't know if you can see at the back here, this chain's a bit rusty. That's what lifts the whole platter up. But I factored that all into the cost because obviously it's costing about £7,000. £8,000 to have a reconditioned one from the manufacturer but there is three service plans from the manufacturer where you send them in after going to pallet, it came on a pallet um, with, the man with the UK manufacturer which I banked on and basically the three, so three, three tiers, bronze, silver, gold and the gold one is basically anything that can break on this machine Anything that can go wrong, they will fix and completely make it look like a brand new machine. And that would cost £750. Seems a lot of money, but if I bought it for 3000 after a week it broke and then sent it in and they would fix it for £750. I've got a perfectly good machine and it's still way under that £7,000 cost. And now this machine... Uh, basically, when I bought this, I weighed it up, how much it cost my partner working minimum wage, like if I had someone minimum wage coming in, working, basically just operating the other machine, what would it cost, and if I had this machine instead, would it be worth getting this and having that as my minimum wage worker, and obviously, yes, yes it would be. So that's why I bought this, and it has already way, way earned back its money. I've had this for about, well, I'll show you the purchase history of when I bought it. I think it was last year sometime, I can't remember when, and it's worth its weight in gold. So, yes, that's my disc cleaning history, and what an amazing machine it is. Um, there is one up from that machine, which cost... Brand new, about £100,000, which I think the only feature that's more um, is, instead of doing 50 discs at a time, it does 250 discs at a time, which is ridiculous. And I think it, don't quote me on I think it does two discs at a time, maybe three discs at a time, like as three separate of those compartments at the top. It's a massive machine, um, just for speeding up, but I don't think anyone unless you're Music Magpie. I don't even know what if Music Magpie has one of them or if they have one of the £100,000 ones. I don't know what business case you would need, something more than that, because, yes, it's running a lot, but it could run a hell of a lot more. Like, I can run it in the night, I can run it on my, week, on my days off, and it'll just churn away. It'll probably take a stack of 50 discs. It'll probably take three, four hours, if they were all the really worst-case ones so yes it does take a lot of time but that's three four hours that my 
partner doesn't have to work and do that and she can do be doing other things so it just helps growing the business now i know that's way out of reach for a lot of people but all the other options i've mentioned in this video are perfectly viable options for anyone who gets into gaming because and that's another point i just thought of um if you're beginning and you want to get the jfj um so you get scratch discs that don't work or scratch discs you deem unsellable build those up until you get a massive chunk and once that value of like keep track of it of the values and once that massive chunk outweighs the cost of buying a jfj buy the jfj clean those discs and in essence games that you had previously thrown away you can now sell and you've got basically a free disc cleaner and you can work with that you can do that with other machines if you wanted to, but the other ones are just when your need case requires it and what stage of the business you're on. And yeah, I hope that helps lots of people. Have a good day.